Okay, so like I said in my other videos, I've just been liking to get straight into the tutorial. And honestly, I've been doing that because I keep forgetting to film an intro. So this is going to be my intro. So I am going to be showing you guys how I do a braid out. I am starting off with stretched hair. I have many videos on how I stretch my hair. I'll just link them in the description box. I find that when I start with stretched hair, my hair starts turn out a lot more defined. So I'm taking a section about this size and I'm just going to detangle it just so that my hair is nice and smooth and that there's so there's no tangles. And I'm just using a wide tooth comb to detangle and then I'm going to lightly mist my hair with some water which is in that spray bottle and really work that in just so that my hair is nice and damp and not soaking wet just nice and damp. And I am going to be using the Shea Moisture Sacha Inchi Curl Defining Cream and applying that to my hair. I did I did apply a little bit more because of course that wasn't enough so this is me applying a little bit more to this section. I really like to make sure that my hair is covered in this product but I really try not to put too much um, and so once I really work that in I am going to start braiding and it's just going to be simple braids and as I braid I am really making sure that each of these sections of the braid are nice and smooth that there's no like snags or anything that I'm braiding really smoothly so that when I take out these braids my hair is all nice and smooth and defined from the braids and then I'm gonna just keep taking my time and braid all the way till I get to the ends like I said making sure that my hair is all nice and smooth and then when I get to the ends about right here I really like to take my um, little brush thing and really just detangle the ends because also I had just trimmed my ends so my ends were really blunt so I found that like combing it out made it a little bit smoother and also you don't want any tangles in the ends because the ends of your hair are probably the most important part of your hairstyle when it turns out at the end if you mess up with the ends the whole hairstyle is a mess so I really like to smooth that out so it's all nice and smooth and your ends are all nice and smooth so I'm going to the next section I'm just going to do the same thing I'm going to detangle a section of hair as you guys can see I'm doing fairly large sections um, and then I'm going to lightly mist it with water like I said so that it is damp just because my hair is completely dry right now so I want to kind of give it some water to give it something to hold then I'm going to be using that Shea Moisture Sacha NG Curl Defining Cream and just really working that through my hair making sure that it gets on all my strands and is smooth and I'm just going to keep smoothing that out and then I'm going to start my three sections so that I can start braiding it and I'm again going to make sure I braid it very smoothly and um, making sure that my braid is all nice and neat so that when I take it out it looks all nice and neat and I'm just speeding it up for y'all because you know I'm not really teaching y'all how to braid here so I'm going to braid all the way till I get to the ends and once I get to the ends um, I like to like I said comb it or brush it out just so that my ends are all nice and smooth so that the end of the braid out is all nice and smooth and then roll around my finger so it gets this nice little curl so it's all nice and neat and defined and not poofy and this is all my braids. Honestly, I never count how many braids I did, um, but you guys can just see and kind of guess how many braids I did. Um, and then the next morning, oh, actually I forgot. Um, after I braid my hair, I like to put my hair in a plastic bag for about 15 minutes just because this just like allows the product to absorb into my hair a little bit better so I just leave a plastic bag on just for 15 minutes and then I take it off and go to sleep now the next morning I take some oil I use some of the Shea Moisture Avocado oil and really work that in my hands just so that when I am taking down my hair my hair my hands are all nice and lubricated so that there is less frizz in my braid out and I basically unbraid my hair I like to kind of unbraid my hair by like going in the opposite motion that I did to braid my hair so it kind of looks like I'm braiding my hair but I'm like going in the opposite motion so that the braids can kind of like unravel if that makes sense like I just I take out the ends and then I basically like it looks like I'm braiding and then I just kind of like unbraid it in that way just because I find that it gets like I have less frizz instead of just like trying to like I don't know I just unbraid my hair however you want to unbraid your hair just to cause as minimal frizz as possible that's what I recommend doing and as you guys can see here like I'm getting very little frizz when I'm def when I am unbraiding and that is the whole purpose then when I have finished unbraiding my hair I'm going to take my time and kind of separate it my um chunks i really don't like to leave my hair all in this chunky braids i like to really separate as much as possible because i feel like i get the most volume doing that so when i separate i just kind of go where it naturally wants to separate and then i also twirl it around my finger i find that this causes less frizz i used to just separate and just leave it and i found that i was getting a lot of frizz so i tried separating it and then as i separated just twirled the strand around my finger and i found that i was getting a lot more defined curls and less frizz so try that out 
and so this is the finished look y'all i mean i was really shook i was not expecting this braid out to turn out as successful as it did um as i went through i realized there were some sections that i could separate more and honestly throughout the day i constantly separate just because i find random sections like i said i really don't like to leave big chunks of unseparated hair so i really try to separate as much as possible because it gives me as much volume as possible i really want as much volume as i can get while maintaining my definition so y'all like i was really surprised like look at this i love braid outs now because i get less shrinkage than a twist out i get a similar look to a twist out with just less shrinkage still there's still a lot of definition it's really light and bouncy and really what gets me is the less shrinkage part um so i this is first day so this is also um a couple hours later it's still the first day but i wanted to come back and show you all because i felt like i was getting more volume throughout the day i was really just massaging my scalp and lifting my hair from the roots instead of trying to do that from the ends instead of fluffing it out from the ends and i found that i was getting a lot of volume so this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys in my next video